we welcome you to this live session. Uh, my, my city, my heritage, right here in Goa. My name is Joanne Fernandez, and um, I'm with Andre and Tanya and their son Noah. And we are going to give you a taste of our Goan culture. And the reason why I um, decided to collaborate and feature this amazing family is because they've, they've been in the industry for quarter century. Andre started off with a folk troupe and um, he's well versed with all the music. <clears throat> in fact, I've, I, I also started my career singing with him and, and the, he's one of the artists that I've learned from, just being around them. And I, Tanya has always been a singer that, I, that I've looked up to. And even now, I'm going to come to you for Konkani lessons <laughs> and some Portuguese songs because I think I'm one of these Goans who kind of ignored my culture growing up. Even though my parents kept telling me to sing Konkani and sing Portuguese, I just did when I was with a wedding band a couple of songs here and there. But with time and with age, um, I see the value in my culture and the richness. And um, now I'm getting deeper into it. But it's not now I'm not coming from this rebellious place. Now it comes from a space of wanting to to know more, wanting to seek more. And um, I'm just happy to have friends like them who've been around for so long, who are so rich in knowledge. Um, Andre is going to be taking us on a journey and Tanya is going to give us a father. And uh, I will start off with this song called uh, My Lord.
Tanya is going to do the next one for us. Uh, it's a fado, and um, it's kind of like the blues of Portuguese. But tell us more about fado. Portuguese songs having sad themes. And Amara Rodrigues was a person who brought fado on stage. And what I'm going to sing is one of her songs, Nes Paredes Confesso, which means I do not confess even to the world. Folk knowledge or folk, uh, the 
knowledge of folk uh, music and dancing is because uh, somewhere in 2013, uh, Tanya and I were asked to bring that uh, folk dancers of or folk music and folk dancers to uh, Mississauga in, in Toronto, Canada. And uh, we took two of, we went and taught the uh, Canadian born Goans uh, two uh, folk dancers, and that was the Koti Fogri, that is the harvest dance, which is danced with the uh, playing of coconut shells, and the other one that is a very ethnic born folk dance called the Dekni. And the Dekni is explained uh, something like the Dev Dasi or the temple dancers uh, who want to cross a river to go and dance at uh, this guy called Damu who is getting married and uh, the story is about the temple dancers asking the boatmen to ferry them across a river that is quite rough it's in spate and the Boatman just refuses to ferry them across, and through the uh, song, you see that the dancers they keep uh, offering him the, their jewelry, and you know uh, they said they will dance for him. They and probably that's how they got across the river. So we got Deknis and Mandos. Mandos yeah. are the Mandos more... exact uh, again uh, uh, begin with a slow. Uh, slow uh, song that goes into a 6-8 rhythm, a fast rhythm called the Dulpods, the Dulpodha. So, uh, that, is, that is another part of, of the one uh, uh, folk music. And, uh, the Dulpodha, which we will come to later, I will give you a little explanation on that. But for now, uh, let us do... Well, it's started thing. raining in Goa. This is our heavy monsoon here. Um, but we're going to take it anyway. We're going to go anyway. Here's how Sai Baba pulls the river.
presume that the women made it across to the river in exchange for their flowers and uh, jewelry. But obviously, I don't think they needed to exchange anything. Those both men would have been happy to just have them in their boats. <laughs> so, what are we going to do next? Shall we do? Okay. A, what we're going talk? to do next uh, is uh, another folk genre called the dulpots that is usually followed by the mando. Just like usually, the mando is a very slow, uh, uh, slow song or, or a, a melancholy song that is followed by the uh, dulpods. And the dulpod or the dulpoda, as we call them in plural in Konkani, uh, are a medley of Goan folk songs that are put together. Just like you put a put a medley of calypsos together. And why I say Calypso is because uh, the Dulpods are very much like the Calypso. Uh, the sarcasm, the pun, you know, the uh, all these kind of daily events in the life of the Goan people where, where, where there we say uh, in uh, coconut woman is calling out, uh, uh, here we say Bailan corn ayala by Pode Raila Gion Undian Chap Pantle. The language yeah, itself is very melodious. Yeah, yes, it's just see who is calm outside, uh, dear. Uh, the mother says to the daughter and says, There's the uh, bread man come uh, with bread to sell. Uh, that's like daily events of the life of people and, and so on. Uh, would you say that most of this music was in the South, Salsa or not? Well, the Mando. Uh, is basically uh, uh, it, it it took origin in the villages of Lotoli and Kurtori, mm -hmm. that's South Goa. Yeah, because yeah. you know we have the north and northern uh, Konkani and South Konkani yeah. is very different. Yeah, like, yeah. In north they say Poro Poro, yeah. and yeah. South it's so it's yeah. so, so my friends from the north are they're always taking my case for when I speak. But I think yeah, South is Southern different. Konkani has um, more melody to it. Yeah, it is. It is a lot. It's a huge. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's a huge dialect. <laughs> we are Shastikas, by the way, the southern <laughs> folks. <laughs> yeah. Konkani by itself is a very rich language, and that's why, uh, just like Latin, it has got uh, declinations. Yeah. Like you know, you can uh, make three words into one word, like, uh, or, or, with a knife, for example, is represented by just one word in Konkani, Surian. So yeah, that's a declination. And only very rich languages have that. So probably Konkani is a very rich language. Yeah. So getting down to the dulpods, it is given a 6-8 beat. Something like, could you try this? Okay? Okay, let's go. Let's go on that. One, two, two three, three, four. Yeah, 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 yeah
I didn't talk about this gumot. It's a bowed instrument, a bowed percussion. Belongs to Andre, and uh, I've never actually played it before. I fooled around with it a little bit. You got a good job in here. Oh no! I, in the middle, I was uh, losing a bit of just the positioning of it. Uh, but it's an inter inter interesting instrument, and uh, this is this, the skin is actually a monitor lizard skin. You can feel it. Feels like a live lizard skin. <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, it's very rare to find these days, so Andre is, uh, actually owns one of these, which is cool. I have a fake one, <laughs> but not a fake, I have, yeah. I have one which has cow skin. Cow skin. Yeah, the sound is nothing close to this. But I believe you have to heat it near fire, and it's kind of raining right now, so it doesn't sound the exact same way it should. Um, yeah, it's not sounding as tight. As tight, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, the musicians are tight. So well, <laughs> on that note, we're going to wind wind up this lovely session. Thank you, Andre. Thank you, Tanya. Uh, thank you, Noah. And there's a, actually a beautiful singer who's behind the camera. <laughs> she's <laughs> um, she's going to come out soon with her with her music. Nicole, do you want to switch and say hi? <laughs> well, at least put your face forward. Let them know it was 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 full of talent. Every house pretty much has talent oozing out of it. And I'm here with one family who's actually taken made a career out of it and uh, who's been in this room for so long. So thank you for having me. Let's do this again. Most welcome. Let's do this again. Yeah, Balkan session. All right, shall we end uh, briefly with a mando? Mando. Mando's a yeah. balance. Just to a small part of this mando and it's called Adios Kotsovir. Adios Kotsovir would mean uh, the time to say goodbye. Yeah. And this is not, although it looks like a waltz, it is not a waltz, this is what the rhythm is like. Mm -hmm.